Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Jabre. I'm a board-certified neurologist, and I'd like to tell you about this transcranial magnetic stimulation unit. Transcranial magnetic stimulation is indicated for the drug-resistant major depressive disorders. This device is manufactured by Neurosoft Limited, and as you can see, it's a modular device. It has three modules. The first module is the main unit, which controls the entire unit. The second is the cooling unit, which is very important because it keeps everything running smoothly and the coil stays cool. And the last is the additional power supply unit, which boosts the output of this device. The other thing you see is that device sits on a cart, and that cart can be easily wheeled from room to room. Essentially, you don't have to hire movers to go from one room to another room in your office. Another thing you see is the arm that's uh, connected to the top shelf here, and the arm holds the coil. The coil is what's gonna fit over the patient's head. And you can see that the arm now is very flexible and can easily move, and this, you move it in any position you want and then fix it, and then the coil fits over the patient's head. I want to point out to you that the coil is angulated, it's not straight. In other words, it really fits snugly against the skull. So let me introduce Cloud TMS to you. The reason we call it Cloud TMS is because every cloud has a silver lining. This transcranial magnetic stimulation with the three units is turned on from the back. There are three green buttons. So I will start by turning the main unit on then the cooling unit on, and then the additional power supply unit on. Now you can see that as soon as I turn it on, the power uh, button here of the main unit turns orange. You don't see anything on the cooling unit on yet, but you see that the additional power supply unit turns orange as well. Now as soon as I press this button to turn the unit on, you'll see that the additional power, uh, the, the cooling unit comes on, and you see a snowflake to tell you that the, co the coil is cool at this point. And you see a picture of the coil here that tells you what the temperature of the coil is at all times to make sure that you're monitoring this. So I want to go over these buttons that you have here to show you how to set the machine up. First, before doing this, I want to tell you that this machine can be run completely independently or through the laptop. So I will go over the independent operation first. What you see here is the dial that sets up the intensity of the stimulation that you're going to give to the patient. And here, that will change the settings uh, depending on which button you press. So let's first of all press this button here, which is the frequency button. And as you see, whenever I press the frequency button here, this button shows 4 hertz, but in fact, when we're doing the FDA protocol, it should be 10 hertz. So now I'm going to set this to 10 hertz. And now we are with the FDA protocol. So this is 10 hertz frequency. Now the next one is going to be for how long you apply it for. And we're going to apply it for 4 seconds. So I set it up at 4 seconds. So 10 hertz duration of 4 seconds. And then we're going to give the patient a break. And I press the third button here to tell me how long is the break. And again, the FDA protocol, the break is 26 seconds. Between each four seconds of stimulation, the patient gets a break of 26 seconds. And the length of the treatment for that is 37 and a half minutes. Again, that's the FDA approved protocol. Here it shows 15, but I'm gonna set it up to 37.5 minutes. Here we go. Now, as soon as I do this, whenever I press on this button here, the machine will start stimulating. Here, that's it. That's all you need to do to set it up. So I'm gonna press on this button, and you're gonna hear a noise coming out of this coil right here, which means that it's stimulating. Obviously, this coil is against the patient's head, but right now, all I'm showing you is how to turn the machine on and how to set it up. So now I'm going to show you, as soon as I press this, you're going to hear 10 hertz for 4 seconds, then it's going to stop for 26 seconds, then take over again. Here we go. Now this is stimulating for 4 seconds, 
It's going to give the patient a break for 26 seconds, and as soon as the 26 seconds are over, then it's going to stimulate again at 10 hertz for 4 seconds. Now note here that you will see that this is at 37.5 minutes. When it starts again, it's going to go down to 37 minutes. That means half a minute has already elapsed. So as soon as it starts again, this will go down, went down to 37 minutes, and it's given the second session. It gave 10 hertz, 4 seconds, again 26 seconds break, and then it will start again after 26 seconds, and you will see that the time will go down. And so this will go off and on for the next 37 and a half minutes, and then it stops at the end. So the last one I'm going to show you is when it starts again, which should be any second now, and that, that timing is going to go down. You see now it went down to 36.5 minutes. And now I'm going to stop this because there's no point in going through the whole thing. I'm going to stop it. So now, after we've done this 37 and a half minute session with the machine operating independently, we can, the patient is done, we unhook, we take the coil off the patient's head, the patient gets up, and they can leave and that's the session is over.